Okay, so it's news time and uh, I'm okay with this. So new pickup draw event. Happy New Year. Uh, I guess it's only fitting that they give the New Year's units to us on New Year's, but uh, we've already got these units, so it's a little odd that they're giving them back to us, but uh, it is a rate up. So if you don't already have these units, these are the, you know, I guess these are the only three featured units maybe on it. But uh, that's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm actually okay with that because to a lot of people, this is just gonna be a skip banner. Uh, I was really, <laughs> I know as bad as it sounds, I was kind of hoping that it would be Sariel and Tarmiel. So that way we could get the banner over with and I could just keep, like I would, I would be able to go in on that banner and then start saving afterwards uh, for the festivals that are coming up. Uh, and I know that's not for everybody, but that was just kind of like, mm, I would be okay with that. Uh, but this is good too, like just having a nice save week. So uh, I guess that's kind of nice. Uh, happy 2021, uh, gather items, drops, and bring them to the exchange shop for a whole bunch of rewards. Uh, more happy New Year's events. Happy 2021 special event or special exchange shop. So we're going to be getting these little happy 2021 coins. I'm pretty sure. I think I remember seeing these in a leak. Um, special battle events. Daily reward tasks are increased, which is always good. I think that means that we're going to get an extra diamond off of the uh, the ones that give you a diamond and such. Um, and then all of the other rewards are kind of just doubled. So that's always kind of nice. Um, two times deathmatch uh, rewards, which is good. Don't we already have that? Or maybe it was just the the host bonus or whatever that got doubled. I'm not sure. I think I think it was just the host bonus. Uh, anyway, super uh, salvage super and ultra success rates are increased, which is good because uh, there's you know uh, if you've been grinding out equipment and stuff like that this week, you may be able to go ahead and salvage it next week uh, whenever this starts. Uh, equipment draw pickup event. Okay, so the this is actually good because I'm grinding out a lot of gold right now. Um, so if you have been grinding gold during the half stamina, there's an equipment draw pickup, which means that the equipment gotcha or like the gear gotcha is going to be, uh, better rated right now. So you can actually use that. Uh, the 100% hammers of visal success rate is going to be, uh, going on, which is really nice because I remember seeing somebody on Reddit say that, uh, they have been saving a ton of hammers and I think they had like, they had like well over a hundred hammers. It might have even been like a thousand hammers. I can't remember exactly how many it was, but they were saving a ton of them for one of these uh, little events that were going on. And uh, they really don't do it all that often. So it's kind of nice that they're bringing these back around again. Um, SSR selection bundle. So you can get 30 diamonds and an SSR ticket. I'm assuming it gives you, it says selection bundle. So I could only hope that it would give you the choice to pick one of the three uh, units here, but I wouldn't be surprised if they just, it was like a 33% chance to get one or the other. Um, so you never know with these. I would hope that it's a selection, but we'll have to wait for the uh, the in-game stuff to actually come out. So uh, anyways, uh, normal PVP season two. Season two. Season rule, super awakening stats are not applied. So this is from the 11th to the 24th. Oh, okay, so it's just like a one week thing going on. Is that right? 11th to the 24th. Eh, it's like two weeks. A two week sort of event where the super awakenings aren't aren't applied. That's kind of nice. So people who just don't really have all of the, the stats for Super Awakening, I feel like it would have been really nice for them to do this right after Super Awakening came out. So you didn't have to worry about it uh, for a little bit. Um, so that way you could actually kind of like get your team situated. But I mean, this is kind of cool, I guess. Uh, it looks like all of the placement rewards are now going to, if you're in the top 100 anyway, you can actually get uh, Super Awakening coins for that plus diamonds, which is really nice. Uh, knighthood update. Uh, during the next Knighthood calculations, uh, Kellak is leaving and being replaced with Einik again. So, I mean, they just do this every once in a while. I don't know if this is going to use the same team that I already use for Kellak. I don't think it does, because if, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think you can crit Einik quite as well as you can Kellak if, if I'm thinking of the right boss. But, uh, I don't know. As long as it's not that newer boss, I can't remember exactly what the, uh, what the third season Nighthood boss is. As long as it's not him, I'm okay with it. So anyway, uh, 
that is it for that. Other than that, uh, Knighthood, our Hawks unique is being changed from the 50%, so it's finally going down to 15% where it's supposed to be. Uh, so that sort of event thing is going to be over with. Ending events, uh, event boss battle, Demon Soldier Malak is going to be over with. Hopefully you've been able to get all the rewards and stuff like that from that already. Uh, and then yeah, the death, Deathmatch host reward times two is going to be ending as well. So if you haven't been doing uh, your Hell Demons to get your cosmetic upgrades and stuff like that, uh, this was a really good time to do it. I've actually been doing a lot more Hell Demons than I thought I would. I've not been doing every single Hell Demon I could, but uh, this was definitely a nice incentive for that. And then the New Year's Eve ticket bundles are going to be going away as well. So this is really not that big of an update. Honestly, I, I'm, I might be kind of struggling on finding stuff to make content on in this next week. But uh, I'll try to just do some random sort of videos here and there. Uh, so if you have any sort of like guides or like maybe you have questions about the game that I can make into a guide or something along those lines. Or maybe you just want to see me make a video on something specific. Uh, let me know because uh, this is going to be a, a pretty dead week it looks like. But uh, other than that, I mean, it's kind of nice because you just, this is going to be a pretty, pretty easy save week. Obviously, if you don't have some of these characters, they're kind of nice, but really it's just a convenience sort of thing on whether or not you can choose which uh, demon you go for and like actually get out of like running the boss battles or whatever. So, I mean, honestly, it's kind of a big skip either way, uh, especially with all the big stuff coming up soon. So, yeah actually pretty nice. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more content in the future, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you then.